welcome to my channel. I'm Chip Boyer. In this channel, we are mainly sharing technical information no? na makatulong sa mga kapwa nating marino, especially sa mga Filipino seafarers. Kaya kung bago pa lang sa channel na ito, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Dito, ano? <laughs> Dito pala. Okay, para update ko pa sa paparating pa nating videos. Again, uh, ngayon, in this episode, I'll be sharing a very familiar na para sa mga kasama natin. Na maaaring nababasa nyo na ito sa email or lagi nyo narinig sa mga kasama natin or from the uh, recommendation ng uh, Shore Laboratory Analysis about the Echo Purifier Minimum Fili. Ooh. Uh, sounds basic or familiar. Basic para sa iba. But, you know, the reason why I decided to make this video is because madalas ko nakakausap uh, ang mga seaman no? from ratings to uh, top management. And I found out na still so many na uh, hindi nakakalam or mari yung pagkakaintindi about the minimum feed rate. Natanong mo na ba kung bakit kailangan natin i-adjust yung FO purifier feed rate natin sa minimum? No? Okay. Si typical separator continue to be the best line of defense against the cut pines. A number of strategies have been introduced to make it even more effective. But the most prominent yung tinatawag na flow optimization or by adjusting the uh, flow rate o yung tinatawag nating feed rate. Yung feed rate o yung tinatawag nating throughput plays a very important role in increasing the separation efficiency. So, yung pala yung number one reason no, to increase the separation efficiency. In one factors that affects the separation efficiency is the time wherein the fuel is subjected into a uh, centrifugal force. Okay. When the uh, feed rate or yung flow rate decreases, it allows the fuel or yung bunker natin to spend more time in the separator bowl. And kapag mas matagal siya na nag stay sa, separation, uh, sa separator bowl natin, so it increases the ability of the separator to separate yung mga lighter liquid at lighter particles. Kapag masyadong mataas yung feed rate mo o yung flow rate mo, uh, hindi na si serve yung purpose ng separator, no? He were just like transferring of oil, no? Yes, nang nagkakaroon ng ng separation but hindi ganon ka-efficient. So siguro na sagot na yung tanong, no? Bakit kailangan natin i-set sa minimum feed rate? Is to increase the uh, separation efficiency. Alam ko very common na yung minimum feed rate na naririnig ng mga kasama natin sa barko. But ang tanong is, uh, what is the minimum feed rate ng FO purifier? Okay, paano natin ito makukuha? Ngayon, ang sagot ng marami, kukunin daw nilang minimum feed rates po magitan ng nomogram ng purifier. Okay, grab dito, grab doon, no? Pa-adjust ng purifier feed rate natin. Uh, ito yung BDE natin. Uh, 0.9771 okay. at 15 degrees. Okay, sir. Ang ano natin, sir, gravity disk na ano, mayroon. Ang gravity disk natin ngay ngayon natin nagamit sa 68.5 millimeter. Okay. Um, Tingnan natin sa nomogram. Oh. Ah, dito tayo sir, sa SJ 30 may sa atin. 30G may sa atin. So, ito. May photocopy naman dito. Dito pa na lang ang gawin ng graph. Ah, sige. Uh, Bullpin sir, gamitin. 9 9771 7, oh, 972 na lang sir, ha? Dito na lang kasi wala saan. 6, 7 dito ko na lang isulat tapos 960, 970 uh, 970, o oh. yung temperatura doon uh, 98 sir o oh, 98, 98, 98 oh. ang, sa ang na. base sa analysis 98 ang recommended temperature okay. gawitan ko na to dito 98 tapos 97 baybayin ko lang to itong 97 dito Pero alam nyo ba na sa nomogram na yon gamit lang ito sa pagkuha ng correct size ng gravity disk natin. May kita nyo depending doon sa separating temperature, depending sa density ng fuel, at depending doon sa uh, feed rate. But take note na, no, ang nakalagay doon is feed rate. Hindi nakalagay ang minimum feed rate. So it could be 1,1 or 900, 1,000, 100, uh, 1,100, or 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. No? Depending doon sa feed rate na yon at saka sa ibang reason yung mga separating temperature at saka sa density of fuel, then you can find the correct size of the gravity disk. Pero true nomogram, hindi mo makikita doon ang minimum feed rate. Paano nga ba kunin? Paano nga ba iset? 
Ang sabi naman ng ilan, sir, uh, i-adjust ko na lang yung gun. Yung suction ng uh, purifier, no? Hanggat nagbi-blink yung, uh, yung monitor, no? Habang nagbi-blink yun, ibig sabihin, okay siya. Okay. Ang tanong ngayon, no? Halimbawa, may, na, uh, may nakarating o may natanggap kayo na email or mensahe from the company or from the office sabi uh, to set yung purifier nyo sa minimum feed rate. Iutos ang halimbawa ni chief engineer or ng uh, first engineer, no? Sabi niya, okay, uh, i-set sa minimum feed rate. So, takbo naman yung junior or takbo naman halimbawa yung oiler. Tapos pagbalik, sabi niya, sir, okay na. Ilan yung setting mo doon? Uh, 1,300. Ah, okay na. The question is, paano mo alam na tama yun? Paano mo i-justify na yun yung minimum feed rate, na hindi yun labis? Tulad ng sabi natin kanina, kapag masyadong mataas yung feed rate natin, we're just like transferring of oil. At hindi ito nasiserve yung uh, ultimate purpose ng separator. Sayang naman, no? Doon nagkakaroon siya ng separation, but yung uh, separation efficiency nawawala. Okay, the reason why, we have to set sa minimum feed rate. There's no certain rule when it comes to minimum feed rate, but there are some guidelines. Salimbawa, yung Alpalabang may fuel system guidelines siya na they are recommending na yung minimum feed rate ng FO purifier should be about 110% of the total daily consumption, FO daily consumption. Okay. Sa amin naman, halimbawa, ako personally, when I gave the advice or giving the advice sa mga kasama natin, I'm always telling 105 to 110 percent, but most of the guidelines, ang nirecommend nila is 110 percent, okay, of the total daily F consumption. Okay, ngayon, paano ba ito? Okay, halimbawa, you have at 25 metric tons na total daily consumption, kasama ng main engine at saka ng generator. So ilan yung 110 percent niya? The 10 percent is 2.5, right? So 25 metric tons plus 2.5 which is 10% is equal to 27.5 yun na yung 110% 27.5 metric tons ngayon, i-divide mo siya sa weight correction factor bakit mo i-divide? i-convert mo ang metric tons into cubic meter so let's say, assuming na you have the correction factor of 0.92 okay, depende na sa inyo ha depende sa fuel and depending sa temperature. Assuming that you have the correction factor of 0.92, okay, 27.5 divided by 0.92 is equal to 29.89 cubic meter. Cubic meter na siya. Eh, ano po ba yung kwan unit of measurement nung sa purifier natin, sa monitor? That is liter per hour, right? Cubic meter. So, ikaw natin, i-convert natin into liters. So, 29.89 cubic meter times 1,000 is equal to 29,891 liters. Ngayon, that is liters na. And that is for 24 hours. Okay. Ngayon, i-divide mo siya into 24 para makuha mo yung per hour na rate niya. Divided by 24, that is equivalent to 1,245 liters per hour. So, ibig sabihin, the 110% pala, okay, the, uh, or sorry, the, the minimum feed rate for 25 metric tons na daily consumption mo should be about 1,245 liters per hour. So, it could be 1,200, pwede na yon no? But, it should be not over, mas maganda, uh, hindi labis ng 110. Uh, 105 to 110, okay na siya sufficient enough na hindi bababa yung service tank natin. In that way, the separation efficiency improves, no? And we meet yung ultimate purpose ng separator natin. I hope this short video is nakadagdag din naman ng kahit konting kaalaman, no? And para sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, please subscribe, no? Again, thank you for watching Chief Boyet. Good day and God bless you.